the Battle of Moscow was over. This past week, the Kremlin proclaimed victory over the fascist forces. German offensive operations, at the moment, have stopped all along the Moscow front. This victory came at a tremendous cost in both military personnel and civilian life. Makeshift graveyards now litter the countryside outside of Moscow. The counteroffensive continues to push the Germans further and further back. Currently, the Red Army is making very ambitious moves, pushing to encircle as much of the German army as possible in the central sector. Today, we will be flying in support of these operations. A large quantity of our armored forces are massing near the front lines. We have been ordered to protect them from any air attack. Hello everybody, Wolfpack here, and welcome back to another exciting episode of our Battle of Moscow series in the MiG-3. Today, we are tasked with covering our ground troops to the southwest of our position. As you can see, it is a mighty long flight to the front lines at this point. Our ground troops should be off to around 1 o'clock, and there's an airfield right there. Quite a bit of smoke here, and we are definitely over the front lines now. We were up at 3 kilometers. We have killed some of that altitude. Now we're down to around 2.5. Probably do want to climb up just a little bit more in case uh, our ground troops are attacked. We can dive down on the enemy targets, but... So far, it's been a mighty fine cruise to the target area. Fuel is A-OK. -okay. Everyone has the same loadout we've been taking with the 250 cals in the nose. We do have the option to take uh, two 20 millimeter cannons as well. I may try those out in the near future. I have played with them a little bit previously and I wasn't a huge fan. One of the main downsides to the 20 millimeter cannons that the MiG-3 uses is they don't have any tracer rounds, so you just have to be really good with aiming. Um, and I admittedly find tracers very useful. <laughs> so uh, we'll probably try them out. The obvious benefit with the 20 millimeter cannons is they hurt quite a lot. And uh, it really only takes one or two hits to knock out a target. So we'll definitely try those in a future sortie, but I decided to use what I'm comfortable with for this one. Just looking around. It's a nice day. Quite a low cloud deck. They're at around one kilometer up. And we'll keep our eyes peeled for any enemy aircraft. I have not seen a flight of anything up until this point. No friendly aircraft and obviously no enemy aircraft. Just, just us here. It looks like we're continuing to drop altitude. I'm going to go ahead and climb back up to three kilometers, and I will let you know when we have any enemies in the area. Just a update on the situation. We are still circling this town where our troops are. Thus far, no enemies have been sighted. Engaging enemy fighters low. Okay, and that's flak. Okay, let's go. Looks like we actually have a target. Looks like everyone's engaging. Perfect. I'm going to zoom up a little higher. Said fighters. Suspecting 109s and whatnot. It's obviously our flak. <laughs> they may be getting a little confused. That's quite close. There they are. There's a large formation. BF-110s. All right. Close our canopy. They're diving in. We will do the same. Break them up before they hit our troops. Looks like we're going to have to go through this cloud. I lost visual of them underneath it. There they are. They're turning away already. All right. We're diving on the straggler. Actually, we may go for a deflection shot here. One of these guys. Yeah, we'll do that. We want to go fast. They do have rear gunners. That kind of hurt. A few hits. Keep flying. And 110s are, are quite dangerous. Considering their, their armament in the nose. 
And also their rear gunners, of course, which we want to avoid, but uh, their armament can really hurt. Once saving grace as we are in friendly territory. And they are quite capable fighters. Another little hit there. Let's pull up through this cloud. Let's cut our boost. Okay, one is going for the town. Let's go get him. We've done our job and broken them up quite well. Looks like there's quite a few. Look at that guy taking all that AAA. I don't see any single-engine German fighters, which is good. Really don't want to go into this, but lots of friendly AAA going after this guy. Okay, not my best shot. We'll kick it around. And we're not doing that. Rather avoid colliding with the dirt or snow. I th actually think this, this guy going down, it looks like he is trailing oil. It's possible. He's getting torn into by the ground fire. Let's get one of these guys. We'll go for number two. A few hits there, breaking off. I'm being rather cautious against these guys, mainly because of their tail gunners. Let's go for this one. I'm also switching targets quite a lot. Objective complete. Well, still have a little ways to go. Let's get these guys out of here. And one's going down in flames. Good kill. There's a shoot. Splash. Okay, let's go back in for this one. I, did I see something come out? I didn't know if they were ditching. Doesn't look like it. I think that gunner may be dead. Is that a BF-110 going down? Let's re-engage, make sure he's dead. Another fireball. This guy is definitely crippled, but still flying. It's pulling up, look at that. Both engines are now uh, looking pretty rough. Oh geez, that MiG-3 behind me scared me. And there we go, he's done. He hit the ground. Okay, where are the others? Startled back, check fuel. Fuel's still good. Here we go, here's another. Is leaking in one engine. Um, this gunner has an arc on us now. Break off. Hello there. Sure, our six o'clock is clear. And this guy's looking pretty rough. 
tickled him a bit there. That may have been... No, he's pulling out of that. Surprised he's still flying. I'm not getting good hits. I keep hitting, you know, parts of their tail and their wings, but I need to hit their engine. Kill off some speed. We're going to get this guy here, too. There we go. And he exploded. Skies look pretty clear now. Order everyone to regroup. Head back, check out the town. Make sure it's all okay. I got an aircraft far out there. Let's see. Let's investigate that. Yeah, one lone aircraft. One o'clock there. Someone's wounded. I ordered them all to reform up on me. Hopefully they do that soon. Yeah, one lone aircraft way out there. Hopefully this guy's wounded over friendly lines. I'm not sure if this enemy is over friendly lines. It definitely looks like a BF-110. Okay, the MiGs are forming up on me. wonder who got wounded and where and why. May try to bag uh, another one here. I'm sure my ammo is getting pretty low. I did fire quite a few rounds at BF 110s and just kind of sprinkled them a little bit. Didn't do anything too crazy damage wise. There's flak. I think we may be flying in the German territory here. Which I'm not a fan of. We're going to turn around and go home. Well, here we are. We have arrived at our home airfield and we are going to make preparations for our landing here. Let's go ahead and throttle up just a little bit. We're working on killing off some of that airspeed. And hopefully we have a nice a nice landing today. The round out a pretty good sortie. We are pretty low on fuel though. I think we're down at around 200 liters currently. That's yeah, these missions are just going to get longer and longer. I'm not sure if this particular squadron rebases closer to the front lines. That'd be interesting. This is a pretty good airfield, though. I mean, it has concrete strips and everything, which is uh, definitely a luxury. Okay, we're at 250 kilometers per hour. Let's get ready to drop our flaps. Okay, something like that. Gear down. Canopy open. And turn on to our runway here. Looking pretty good thus far. Let's get ready to drop our flaps some more. To 60%. Sure. Nice and easy. And the sun's right in my face. That's just perfect. Can't see over this big nose. Okay. Bounce. There you go, not too bad though. Break. Oh, 
There we go. And we have landed. Is the rest of my flight coming in? We're going to taxi off the runway, let them land, and I will see you all for the debrief. Okay, and here we are. Mission accomplished. And as you can see, this was quite a long mission. Oh, almost an hour. 59 minutes and 23 seconds. So these missions are going to get pretty long, huh? And uh, this is odd. No planes were credited to us. I guess those AA gunners took credit. That's probably what happened. Let's check the event log here and see what downed those BF-110s. Looks like we did have a MiG-3 go down in this area. Let's see, destroyed by AAA gun, AAA gun, AAA gun, AAA gun. Yeah, it looks like the anti-aircraft guns got all the credit. And this is, yeah, we've ventured into enemy territory for a little bit. And I guess that's where we were getting shot at. But yeah, this guy, I believe this is the one I lit on fire. Um, oh, well. You know, I, I'm not too upset. We are the number one ace, so it's not like it's that big of a loss. <laughs> Still, uh, yeah, 36 kills. Number number one there, Yuri Antonov. Let's see if we uh, get any exciting developments here. Planning room. Let's see what we got. Okay, so one of our pilots, one of our new guys, was killed in action, unfortunately. He got the Order of the Red Star. And uh, 15 combat sorties. So he was not that new, but he is now... He was killed in action. And then another pilot was wounded, apparently. Well, that will do it for today. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and comment, as it really does help out the channel. But until next time, this is Wolfpack345 signing off, and I'll see you all on the next one.